Appalachian Wireless now has new forward pay pricing, where you can pay up front and get the data and features you desire. Five gigabytes of data, just $39.99. Unlimited, just $79.99. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Called a mistake in circumstances, the recent arrest of a man outside of Shelby Valley High School. But one Pike County official said that arrest was a good trial run for school safety measures at Shelby Valley. 37-year-old Michael Balk of Big Stone Gap, Virginia, was arrested outside of Shelby Valley High School at the start of the school day, March 29th. Balk was reported by some students as being a suspicious person outside the school wearing all black and carrying a backpack. A Pike County Sheriff's deputy confronted Balk and found him in possession of drugs and a loaded handgun, and he was arrested at the scene. Pike Commonwealth's attorney Rick Bartley said that although the situation may have been frightening, it appears that Balk was simply stranded in the area near the school following a botched drug transaction. It does not appear that at any time he tried to enter the school, and surveillance photos show that most of the time that he was in the area, he was actually walking on the opposite side of the road from the school in the school parking lot. I think the, what he told the officers is that he is, was out at the apartments behind the school to do a drug deal, and his ride took off and left him, and he was simply walking back out to the highway to try to get a ride home or try to find his ride. So fortunately, he was not there to do any kind of harm to the school or any of the students at the school from our investigation and the investigation conducted by the Sheriff's Department. Bartley added, however, that the situation acted as a good trial run for school safety measures at Shelby Valley. This is one of those incidents where people are told, if you see something, tell somebody. <clears throat> students saw him in the area, told their teachers who notified law enforcement, and a potential bad situation was resolved very well and even though we don't think he was there to present a danger to the students this was a very good example and a very good trial run basically from everybody involved that if somebody did approach a school with worse intentions they see here that the system worked very well and i was glad to see that but we'll be following up with a pretty aggressive prosecution because just the nature of uh, what he was doing and where he was doing it Balk was indicted this week by a Pike County grand jury on charges including felony possession of a controlled substance and possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. That firearm charge could land him in prison for up to 10 years. In Pike County, Chris Anderson, EKB News.